Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on Thread Local class in Java. Thread Local class provides the Thread Local variables. These variables are different from the normal variables because Thread Local variables are visible only within the thread. Each thread has its own copy of the uh, variables, uh, Thread Local variables, and that value cannot be visible to the other threads even though all the threads executing the same code let us go ahead and see with an example how thread local class works and what are the real time use cases when we can use the thread local class so first let us create a thread by implementing the runnable interface class name i am providing as my runnable and click finish and then implements runnable interface and we have to override the run method now first let us see how we can initialize or create the thread local object of the variable so private thread local thread local equal to new thread local so this is how you can create an object for the thread local variable and if you want to implement the generic uh, way of implementing then we can specify what type of um, variable the thread local class is going to hold and this is how you can uh, do you can initialize using the generic way of implementation once you create the thread local uh, very thread local variable by default it is going to assign with the null value now let us go ahead and see how uh, let us print this value and see so in order to get the value from the thread local uh, instance variable we have a method get now thread local dot get returns the value hold by the thread local variable now let us create a main method in a different class this class name i am giving as thread local demo let us have a main method in this class and first let us create a thread my runnable object here my runnable runnable equal to my runnable and create a thread thread t1 equal to new thread of pass this runnable object here okay so then let us start the thread t1 dot start now let us go ahead and run this program and see what is the output right click run as java application now by default it is null now you can set the value to the local uh, thread local variable using the set method so that is thread local dot set setting the value to thread local variable now see what happens thread local demo right click run as java application okay so this time it able to set this value and you can remove the value from the thread local using the thread local thread local dot remove so once you remove the value and uh, by default it is going to set to the again null now go here again print this value thread local demo right click run as java application then null value in got set so we have seen three methods set method is basically to set the value to the thread local variable and get method is to retrieve the value from the thread local uh, whatever the value set by the set or whatever the value it holds by the thread local you can get or uh, you can retrieve using the get method and the remove method is used to remove the uh, value from the thread local variable now 
if we want to provide a default uh, um, initialize if you want to initialize the uh, value during the object creation itself then that is possible using you have to override the initial value method which is the protected what type of object has to return and initial value and you can return what is the value you want to initialize the thread local variable so this is initial value set to thread local okay so now let us go ahead and get this value and see what happens system dot out dot println thread local dot get just to remove this is the type string okay now try go to the thread local demo right click run as java application then we set the initial value and you can use the another way by passing the supplier uh, object also we can initialize for that we have to call the um, static way of method that is thread local dot with initial and we have to pass the supplier object here so in order to pass the supplier what we have to do is a new supplier so this is the anonymous implementation of string uh, data type and here we have to override the get method public string get return this is initial value set to thread local variable okay now let us go ahead and run this program and see what is the output right click run as java application now if you say here this is the initial value set to the thread local variable now two ways you can initialize one using the initial value you just need to override the initial value of the thread local class or you can pass the supplier object to with uh, uh, with by calling the thread local static method with initial okay so this is how we can set now let us see the uh, practical uh, program how the thread local variables are different from the normal variables so for that what we are going to do is let us create a thread local of type integer thread local thread local thread local equal to new thread local so of type integer integer and then we are going to in this run method we are going to write some logic for int i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus okay then thread local dot thread local dot set 
you can set the value how we can set is thread local dot get plus one i'm just incrementing this thread local uh, thread local variable count each time okay and then let us go ahead and print this value System dot out dot println thread local local dot get. Okay, now let us go ahead and run this program. So this is where this is going to return the null point exception. This is because by default the thread local variable is going to be the null. That's the reason we have to initialize with the some in it, uh, initial value. So protected integer initial value return zero okay now let us go ahead and run this program right click run as java application still it is getting the null point recession where it is getting so thread local dot so let us see this value that method name is correct or not typo mistake here initial okay now let us go ahead and run this program again okay it printing one two three four five now let us print the thread name also thread dot current thread dot get name and then space count okay now let us go ahead and run this program this time it it should print the thread name and also the counter variable okay so one two three four five this is a thread zero now let us create a two threads actually so Now I'm going to create a one more thread, but I'm going to use the um, the runnable object is going to be shared between the two, two threads. Now t2 and t1 dot start, t2 dot start, t1 dot join, and then t2 dot join. Now let's go ahead and run this program and see what is the output. Right click, run as Java application. If you run here thread zero, the counter is starting from the one to um, five and thread one counter value started from the one to five. That means each thread adds one thread local variable. That's the reason it is pending one to five and one to five. Let us see how this will work in the case of normal variables. I am going to comment out this code to show you the difference. Int count equal to 0. Instead of setting to the thread local variable, we are going to increment this count and printing the count variable now the count variable is the shared between these two threads now see what happens go to the thread local demo right click run as java application now if you see here as counter is the shared variable that's the reason thread one has incremented this value one to five and then sorry thread zero um, incremented this value from one to five and thread 1 also incremented value from the 6 to 10. 
so that is the difference between the normal variables versus the thread local variables thread local variable basically a copy of the um, copy of the um, storage for the given thread and that value is not going to be visible to the outside threads that's the reason if you want any thread safety for the uh, non threads non thread safe objects then you can go and use the thread local variables now the real time use cases of the um, thread local variables are if you are working with like uh, um, sessions if you want to maintain the uh, session level information in the in the case of web application then you can use the thread local variable and also if you see the spring framework all the jdbc connection related information internally it maintains with the thread local variable and also http uh, like a hibernate session which is not a thread safe but that not be shared across the threads in that case you can create the hibernate session and put that session into the thread local variable so that it does not shared between the threads and similarly simple date format is also a not thread safe class you want to you can use the thread local to keep a copy of the um, copy of the very value for the each thread so that you can maintain the thread safety similarly uh, if you are using the um, web application where you want to maintain the session level like a uh, j2w containers associated to a transaction uh, transaction context and these type of things is already implemented using the thread local class hope you clear with the thread local concept and thanks for watching